It's all in the hips, yeah, baby. And then, I, and then you can move and you can, you can push it down from, you know, there's so many things I can do from that. And so I actually tried it a little bit tonight, the last part of my roll. It actually went pretty well, a lot better than the other ones. I just got to work on it a little bit better. So, and so mm-hmm. I think I can do it. So I got actually pretty good flexibility. So I think I can manage it. So that's good. Yeah, that's baby. Good. So flexible. <laughs> Mm. I need to I need to work more on utilizing my lower appendages. Welcome to your two favorite facially blessed individuals. Everybody knows who I'm talking about. That's right, folks. It's the two bearded preachers aiming to misbehave just like we always do. It's true. So true. true. So very mm-hmm. true. Makes me want to crash a wedding and object when they offer up that opportunity. That's not a thing. That's the kind of misbehavior I thing. want to do. They don't do that. No one has it's ever done thing. that except it's in a, the movies. It's real. Does anybody that object? That is a real thing. It's do any, real. Does anybody object to the union of this man and woman? Uh, I do. And if I and if you did that in my wedding, like uh, you're gonna, I actually had somebody ask me that. Like uh, they, right. after after a wedding one time, they came up and said, "Hey, uh, I noticed you didn't ask if anybody objects to the union of this man and woman." And I said, "Yeah." That's because I don't care. I, that's exactly get. what I said to him. I said, I said, this is happening I anyway. said uh, yeah, you want to know why I didn't ask that? He was, I would like to know. And I go, because I don't care. He, and he was like, he kind of, he was an old school fellow. And he was like, what do you mean you don't care? I said, listen, bud, if you got any objections, you probably should have said some before you showed up to the wedding. Okay. So kick yeah. rocks. It's too late. Kick rocks, homie. It's too late. And he's all like, well, I've never been so rah, I was like, yeah, man. Man, yeah, you were the one that signed the checks, were you? That's what I thought. This wedding costs a lot. <laughs> You're going to come in here and object at the last second? What kind of man are yeah. you? I, I called his manhood into, into question. What kind of a man so are you? So mean. Well, that's kind of rude. I dude. know. Well, I kind of felt like I kind of felt like it was deserved. Well, I'm kind of a rude I'm guy. Kind of so, a tool. Okay. so. Uh, when in Rome, oh. what? That's, did that work? Is that? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's that good. So, um, <coughs> no, I uh, the 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 wedding was uh, great. It was wonderful. I had a wonderful Beautiful. time. Uh, so imagine. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. You know, there was a like. Uh, let me just say this, all right. So, yeah, this is what I tell everybody. So don't get married. No, no, I, whatever I you do, say that. just don't do I it. Don't say that at all, Martin. That's horrible. That remain horrible. celibate and alone your entire the life rest, and die for the rest of your known life. No, I don't say that either. Die that would in be a bad idea. isolation. It's the best. That's what you think is the best, and so to die in, to isolation. Die in isolation. I've seen, I've seen some people die, and no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, isolation doesn't seem to be the best. It's not that bad. People don't seem to like that. It seems what they like is they like to have their family around them. They like to say goodbye and all that kind of stuff. It, that's what it seems yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you're getting hit by a bus, uh, your yeah, yeah, your experience yeah, may differ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, to, hard say. to say. So anyway, um. Don't get married, no. no matter what. I always do the... And, okay, so I start off with, you know, when I do the rehearsal, I start off and I say... Do you say dearly beloved? Um, no, I just say we are gathered here today. But I don't say dearly beloved. There, if somebody I wants, start off with a, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Let's get these fellers hit. No, I don't, I don't do that. Um, no? But, all right, so rehearsal. Like, rehearsal starts... And I stand up and there I say, I want to welcome you all here. It's great to have you all here this today. And Do you go through like your sermon in the not rehearsal? The whole thing, not the whole thing. I, I just hit okay. I hit the highlights. Okay. And so, uh, but I go, I go, uh, it's great to have you guys all here today. Um, you know, if, uh, you know, uh, we, we, there's a lot of, a lot of planning has gone into this service. And I mean, we're talking like over a year of planning has gone into this service and, um, and, 
into the service? They they spend a year playing well, in the service? Of what everything's going on. Okay. So I, like I just oh, okay. said like the so, like, yeah, party they'll plan so for there's a been year. a lot of you know uh, a, a lot of work has gone into this, a lot of planning, a lot of thought. So don't mess they it up. They have talked to me, uh, Hannah and Ryan have talked to me and I have, you know, I you know, worked with them on how to uh, format everything and so here's the deal if you guys have any suggestions uh on on things that we can do and change what i want you to do is I want you to keep that to yourself and never bring it up ever again okay because we don't care <laughs> that's basically what i said so if you have any suggestions i don't care we're not doing them because we have a service right here and i'm gonna follow this script and we're done and i said if you listen to me and this is what i go if you listen to me and you do what i tell you to do you get to go party faster and they're like oh yeah bro we can do that and so we got no problem saying so <laughs> and that uh they usually and sometimes that rubs people the wrong way and sometimes they get a little bit mad but at the same time i don't particularly care you know and so uh so that's what that's kind of what we did and so like i was literally done with the rehearsal 20 minutes. That's not bad. Not bad. Mm-hmm. See, I do not do a speech like that. What I do is when we're doing the premarital stuff, that's all focusing on the relationship. But I tell them at the beginning of the premarital counseling or premarital pastoral care or whatever you want to call it, I say, I do not care about your wedding. I do care about your marriage. Okay. Yeah. So for the wedding, you guys tell me what you want me to do. And I'll do it. Mm-hmm. But you're going to do all this stuff that's going to help to prepare you for your marriage. Right? Mm-hmm. And then I tell them this. At some point during your planning process, I think I've told you this before, but somebody is going to stand up and they're going to start trying to put all their ideas on you. Mm-hmm. And, and I will sit back and I will let that happen until you tell me put a stop to it and then I will put a stop to it and I will be very nice about mm-hmm. it and they may or may not even know that I've put a stop to it after I'm mm-hmm. done but I'm going to let that happen until you give me the signal to shut that junk down and what I and yeah. then I let them know I have done this before mm-hmm. I have shut down you know what? somebody's going to want to make the wedding their show yeah. and sometimes you got to shut that down but normally up here They've already decided pretty much how they want to do oh, all yeah. that sort of stuff. So I just show up, I eat, and I say, this is the way, this is my part, and this is the way my part's going to go. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they'll, sometimes they ask me questions like, well, what side does the groom need to be on, or the bride, or whatever? And I said, well, which side what of does you it more matter? attractive? Yeah. Which side of you looks better? Yeah. I mean, do you have a ghastly mole or deformity on one side of your body? That Might you not want to show that. Or maybe you want to showcase. Maybe you want to showcase that missing shoulder. Perhaps. Who knows? It's okay. Yeah. I'd want to put it out yeah. there. Be like, this is who I am. Yeah. I got some wicked scars. I got some awesome tattoos all over the place, you know? Let's just show them off a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does the light flash better on my nipple rings from this position or that position? Well, I mean, Whichever I don't know better. what kind of weddings you're doing when nipple rings are showing, <laughs> but, you know, hey, each their own. Naked. Each, naked naked weddings. Weapon, weddings, okay. Naked, naked weddings, wedding. right. All right, I hear you. Very I'm, common up I'm, here. I'm with you on that. South. I'm with you. They, now, I don't know about that. I feel like you're str- I think it's. I think you're stretching here, Martin, okay? Very common. Happens all the time. Yeah. The weird part is that most of the nudist weddings that I've done have been people's third and fourth marriages, so they're getting a little up there in age. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. you got to be careful about the time frame, too, because if it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and it's an outdoor nude mm-hmm. wedding, you got to, because everybody's naked. What? Everybody. No, Everybody. no, no. And you just got to make sure that there's plenty of sunscreen for everyone and bug spray. Oh, Sunscreen and bug spray. You, you, That's the what, good stuff. That is not true. Now you're that just making totally, you're just making crap up. I really feel like you got to get a base tan. I feel like you're making before cr- you go no, out there. Martin, you're wrong. You get a sunburn. It's not good. You're making crap up right now, Martin. I, I would never make up anything about wedding ceremonies. Kind of feel like you would though. Yeah, I would because I don't care about wedding. I care about marriage. I understand. So, I, I hear you on that. 
I do during, and I told him <coughs> that, you know, but during the ceremony, I actually say those exact words. I said, don't be mistaken. Uh, everything here is fantastic. It is beautiful. It's yeah. great to have everybody here. But don't be mistaken, this is not your marriage. This is just a wedding. Everything, the marriage is what comes tomorrow. After this and tomorrow Dude. and all that. So, so you just I burst her bubble speaking. during the ceremony is what I do. Oh, man. Do you prep them for that beforehand or no? Oh. You just break it down for them right there. I'm bringing it down for them right there, but everything I've, I've shared with them and talked with them about prior to prior to it has has set it up. It has totally set it up. Mm. So they know mm. it's coming. They know. They don't they know. Totally they totally know. know. They totally know. They are completely ignorant of everything that's happening, and it is a drag. It is glorious. Anyway. Anywho. Fortunately, right now, I'm not tracking any weddings that I have to do, and I am okay with it. You don't have any weddings? So, I'm not tracking any right now. Dude, no. I've got, um, just did one successfully. I still have to do the... Successfully? What is the unsuccessful wedding go someone like? Someone runs out screaming and crying, I would think. Have you ever had, like, do you do the thing where you say... If anyone objects, let them speak now. Does anyone do that? Is that a real thing, or is that just for the That's movies? just the movies. I don't know anybody that does that, because if anybody do, does do that, they're a total tool. I'm just going to say it. Okay? Because if... Weddings are too expensive, if man, you, to be messing if around with. If you are going to pull that number, okay? If you're going to pull that card, the day of the yeah, wedding, after it. everything's paid do for... It. You shut your stupid mouth. You don't get the what right you, to say anything. Okay? You sh- what? I, I just don't think it's real. I don't think it's ever happened. Maybe maybe I, the Bearded Nation can give us a call if they've ever heard of this ever happening in real life. Because yeah. I think it's a myth. I, I, I don't think, think it's it ever happened, happened back in the day. I think it ba- happened back in the day prior to social media and things like that. I think that's when it happened. Because now we just trash each other on social Absolutely. media instead of doing it Absolutely. in person. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're too scared to trash somebody in person. No, no, I mean, we, we still do that, too, but... Do we? Yeah. I don't trash people in person. I Get on the ball, Martin. Media. What's wrong with you? I like to be the uh, the keyboard warrior, you know. The, the... Uh, being, real t- being a real tough guy Okay. on the internet, but, you know, a total sissy in real life. That's what I'm All right, I, I hear you. It's my favorite. I hear you. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right. That's good cool. Time. Actually, what I like to do on the internet is share theological quotes and pictures of the birds in my backyard. That's, that's, well, I'm pretty sure that's what the internet's all about. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but I totally, I, I'm here, I, I feel for you. I, I get it. You're with yeah, it? I'm down with that. Yeah. So. That's why those guys invented the internet. Anyway. You think so? Yeah, share pictures of your birds and theological quotes that you found interesting. That seems like about uh, it. What else would there yeah, be? Yeah, I don't know about that, but whatever. It's all right. Anyway. It's okay, bro. That's okay, cool. totally all right. What do you? Why? What are there other people using the internet for? I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, you know, I'm sure they're using it for other things. I mean, I'm in this Facebook. I'm in a Facebook group called the Backyard Chickens Group. Dude, it's for why are people you in a, why are you in in a group like that? It's so weird. It, it's it's weirder than you think. These people. I don't know. Absolutely, these people are absolutely insane. They live and breathe, live and die chickens, man. They love chickens more than anything. Heaven forbid you put something up there about a duck, man. They do not like it. Because they're like, this is ducks, not the backyard duck Ducks table. are of the chickens, devil. That's friend. actually a common known thing. That, yeah, really? You didn't know that? Because their eggs are great. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's just, I mean, come on, man. You're in a, chick, you're in a chicken having... group. You're not in a duck yeah, group. Yeah, well... These people, some of these people bring their chickens in their house. Oh, well, that's just stupid. Some of these people um, let their chickens perch on them and sit in their lap. That's just dumb. That makes no sense. Some of these people snuggle with their chickens. Gosh, there's no snuggling. Dude, if you snuggle with a chicken, they could peck your eyeball out. Come on, let's just be real. I've got some chickens that would peck your eyeballs out. Now, as I say this, 
This might sound a little bit crazy, but I currently have eight chickens in my house because we picked up some chicks for Dave to raise today. And they were born like yesterday or the day before. So they're in a tub in the bathroom, mudroom bathroom. And so I've got chickens in my house right now, which gives me a little bit of credibility in the backyard chickens Facebook group. So that's good. Oh, Martin. Mm. I am so ashamed of you right now. They're delightful little No, they're birds. not. They're, they're disgusting. Tiny. They're so tiny Chickens are disgusting. They're so cute running around. Yeah, they are kind of gross because they poop everywhere. Everywhere. Disgusting, Martin. But they also lay eggs, which is awesome. Well, they're not laying any eggs right now. They might be laying eggs right now. Probably not, though. They're normally sleeping right now. They normally lay... I might normally lay their eggs in the afternoon. Uh, round man. round 2 to 3.30. That's, That's just freaking weird, okay? It's just Why? weird. That I know no, that? Just, uh, I just don't think you should be bringing farm animals in the, in the house. Like <coughs> a pot belly pig is one thing, but a bunch of no, chickens. No, those you things, definitely don't chickens want those are guys disgusting. The they're in a bin. It's not like they're running around on the floor. They're in a bin. They can't get you out. Put it, you know what you should do? You should put them in one of them little hamster balls. That would be funny. Put chicken in a hamster ball, see what happens. I wonder, I don't think they'd be heavy enough to I bet they could do it. Dude, I'd like to see them try. I'm going to, I need to buy a hamster ball because this is a, that's a, listen, if you do do this, if you do it, take a video of a chicken in a hamster ball and then post it on the Patreon page because I think that is worthy. Just seems smart. Seems smart. Seems like a great idea. Yes. Because then it can run around my house and not be a problem, right? Yeah. Just buy a bunch of hamster balls and you should be good to go. <laughs> right? Right? That makes yes. perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, perfect sense. So no, I'm not tr- I'm not tracking any weddings right now, which I'm perfectly okay. Hey, with. I got a question for you. Oh dear. I have to do a wedding in a North North Carolina. Oh, you should stop by my house on your way yeah, up. Yeah, I probably you will. should. Leave, stop at my house, spend the night, and then go the next morning. I can do that. Um, We're in North Carolina, on the coast, yeah, in the mountains. There. How does one? In the world are you going how does one Carolina? go about becoming an officiate in another state? You got to check the rules. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. But you can, check is there an easier rules. way to do this? Because I don't want to do all that work. What then? Looking on the internet, how do I officiate a wedding in another state? Listen, Martin. I don't know. I need you. You're condescending tone right now. I just need you to tell me. Just get on the. I just need you to tell me the freaking answer, so I can just do it. I would just go up there and sign the marriage license, and then if it doesn't work, that's their problem. That's actually. That's That's actually actually not a bad point. That's actually pretty. (laughs) If they don't like it, that's their business. They can figure it out. That's actually a very good idea. I'm. I'm. I'm actually pretty keen on that. Yeah. 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 This is a forgiveness, not permission kind of You think scenario, so? You I think they would be all right with that? Oh, yeah. Like, eh, okay, well, uh, we love Justin. He's a good guy. You know, yeah, he might have screwed you this want... up, but, you know, it's whatever. What are they? Do these people live in North Dude, Carolina? This is my, yeah, this is my boy, Jared. Jared Beekman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love all that right. guy, man. He is so awesome, and I'm so happy for well, him. Well, if you, if you love him, and he's so awesome... Maybe you find out the real rule. Yeah. Hey, or maybe or he's you know worth what I could do maybe one of those online. Uh... The preacher group. Ask in the preacher group. One of those guys, the North Carolina guy. No, I'm just saying, I'm sure. like, maybe I can get, like, an on- online ordination that's good in all states, you know? <laughs> what do you think about that? A universal ordination. A universal ordination. ordination. Isn't that a thing? That is a thing, though. Is I'm it? pretty sure, dude. I, I had, dude. What's his name? Aren't you already qualified? Yeah. You're already universally ordained. I would you? think so, but typically it's just for the state that you're in. You know, you have to be recognized by your congregation, and usually it's for the state that you're in. Like, I'm, I'm curious how you, like, were you ordained in Georgia or were you ordained someplace else? Well, it depends. What do you what do you think ordination is? I don't know, man. You got that little piece of paper that says you're ordained. That's what mine. Is. I don't have a piece of paper. I had an experience. Oh, okay. Though, All right, cool. Where the elders of the church um, ordained me and installed me as the minister of the oh, church. Okay. Uh, in Georgia. So, in Georgia. 
in, in Georgia. Okay, well, right. because the thing is, like, when you, because, I don't know how to, like, because your church that you're in isn't your traditional, isn't like a traditional um, restoration movement church. I mean, they were in the Disciples of Christ. Which is, it is different, though. It is different. Which is Restoration Movement ish. Church, but... Um, ish. Not ish. I mean, they would argue that they're more Restoration Movement than you are. So yeah. Tomatoes, tomatoes, just, all right? You know, when in Rome... Martin, agree to disagree. Agree to when, in Rome, when in when Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> I don't think that's how that statement works, but... But, <laughs> but like, what it, it is, like, it if works. you change what... Like, even if it's, like, in... I don't think it even matters if it's in the Restoration Movement Church or not. Like, if you're, like... You know, it was the Disciples of Christ. Indo- independent, independent independent churches are fine. Yeah. So I think if you get ordained yeah. in another church, then it's the, the whatever. It's, that it carries, yeah, it carries over. over. So It carries over. Yeah. It's good. You're all yeah, good. Yeah. I think... Uh, I'm, mm. Yeah, I like Jared. I don't know I don't know if I would want to give the possibility of him messing, of messing oh, him up. Oh, I would not mess him up. I would up. probably I'm not going want to, to look He's actually up. researching it for me, too. And so, oh, he's looking yeah, at it. Yeah, that's oh, really. I mean, honestly, it's like, hey, man, help me figure this out because listen, I I've got a lot of stuff going on. Like, yeah, I've got you know, I, I my my church is growing. You know, it's going great. That's it's really nice. You know, um, I did my new members class. It's really, really it was great. I really like my first my my new my first class for the new members class this last Sunday, which was fantastic. Really got a lot of great feedback from everybody that was there. Had five people, three couples, three families. All right. And uh, it was good. It was really, really, really good. I was really impressed and everything. But, you know, busy there. Had a busy service. I went from straight from new members class, five minutes before service start, walk out there, basically walk up and start preaching. And, you know, it was just, it was good. You know, came from... You didn't get to enjoy the singing and I mean, I, I did get to enjoy the singing and songs. I walked in five minutes before the service start. So oh, that okay, was... okay, okay. So you you do your introduction, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, I do. I'm, I'm thinking about expanding that and changing that a little bit and allowing my, um, allowing some, like, my youth minister to kind of do that. I think he uh, let some people see him. Yeah, yeah, let some people see him a little bit, you know, more. Um, I was gonna let him preach um, next, but you decided not next to. Next month, like, ah, but yeah, I'm gonna. Nah. Well, the, I have a good reason for it. Number one, I don't need him to. All right. Um, number two, you know what I need him for? He doesn't want no, no, to. No, he really wants to. But you know what I need him to he do? I need him to preach for my men's breakfast because I won't be there on a Saturday, but I will be there on a Sunday. So. Okay. Um, so I can preach Sunday. Why not both? Huh? Have him do no, both. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that to him. So, like, it's when when you have somebody who's been like preaching for a year, like you know, not not really preaching for a year, but teaching and learning has never done it in their entire life. You, know, you kind of you don't want to like pile everything on top of them because they yes, get pile no, 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 that's a bad idea. Uh, everybody, everybody, Load ignore down what Martin work. is saying because it's not. Wise. I think that my suggestions are on point. No, tonight. I think I think you're um, full of crap tonight. And I think you've got some good suggestions too. That chicken and a hamster ball idea is <laughs> bold. That is brilliant. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's a pretty good. I think it's a pretty good one too. It's a great idea. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna if it works, I'm gonna I'm gonna create these chicken balls and I am going to sell them to these crazy backyard chicken, chicken balls. Yeah, yeah, if they're it's a little more expensive than a hamster they're ball. smaller and they're lighter. They will have to be yeah, lighter. They'll have to be right. lighter for their little chicken legs yeah. to get them going. Okay, so but <laughs> I was but so like I just he's looking chicken that up ball. for me because well you know I said and I I basically said I'm a, he when he asked me to do it because originally I wasn't going to do it originally I was just going to go up and uh, right. and just be be at the wedding and everything a spectator. spectator because he. He basically said, he goes, listen, he goes, he goes, um, you know, Kate, which is his fiance, might want her, her pastor to do the ceremony. Yeah. And so, you know, is that okay? And I go, dude, man, it's okay. It's all right, man. It's, you know, yeah. you got to let her choose that and everything like that. And, and that's perfectly fine. I said, if you need my services in any way, shape or form, I said, like, if you need me to do premarital counseling, I'll be more than happy to. We can do it, you know, online and everything. He's like, he's like, dude, that would be so great. You know? 
yeah, yeah, I'd have to talk about that with him. Um, he's like, dude, yeah. that'd be so great. I'd appreciate that. And so, like, we, you know, we talked about that. And he goes, oh, I'll tell Cade and everything. And so I guess they went and they talked about it. And they came, he came back, like, uh, two weeks later and said, like, hey, bro, can you do the ceremony? And I was like, dude, what happened to her ministry? He goes, well, basically, she said that you and I are closer to each other than she is to her pastor. And I go, ah, oh, all right, man. I, I totally understand. So. Is. Okay, so, like, up here. There's a, there's this weird stigma where the preacher of the church, if there's a wedding going on in the church, then the preacher of that church has to okay that the wedding is going on if they're not performing it. Like they're real, they're real antsy about whether of whether or not the preacher is going to be offended by somebody else performing a ceremony wedding ceremony or something like that there in the church. And it's really funny. But I don't think that that exists down there in Florida. Though. Wait, 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 wait. Like, we got to talk about this. Like, so, like, the pastor is is offended if, if it is not done in... Wait, wait. So, if it's done in their church, yeah, the, in, in the, the building. building, the pastor has to be there taking part in it or... It's like it's like they it's like there's an expectation that if it's happening in the congregation's building, okay. right? If it's happening there in the church building, then the preacher of that church, if they're not performing the wedding, then they have to be okay that the wedding that the other person's performing the wedding instead of them. It's like this really weird it's for me, it seems weird. No, it is. Because... It is. Like, if somebody, if somebody if said to me, like, that... Justin, we'd like to do... Um, we'd like to do a wedding at the church, and we would like to bring in our own officiant to do that. And I'd yeah. say, yeah. all right, that's fine. 500 bucks for yeah. the church. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> that's what I say. If it's a member, like, it's like I don't half care. price. I'm just trying. I'm like, 500 bucks. All right, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> You charge your members? Uh, it depends. Depends. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's, it's typically no. I mean, it, like for, for the members, facility. For members, it is a charge for like sound and cleanup. It's the basics. It's the, like cleanup afterwards. Oh, okay. Your sound, your audio, and stuff like that. That's what it is. It's and like a very minimal fee for the um, for like the for like AC and stuff like that, electricity and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Very minimal. It's very very minimal. But uh, yeah. for non-members, for people that are outside the church, and they're like, "Hey, we want to," you got to uh, get yeah, paid. We we crank that sucker up. I'm actually, so I that think way, it's actually more that discourages people yeah, to do it. Right? Yeah, because I don't really want a whole bunch of weddings in our church. I'm just be honest, I don't. <laughs> like, there's a fee for cleaning off the stage. If you want the stage cleared off, it's expensive. Okay, because we got to clean it off, we got to put it back up. It's expensive. Yeah, you know? that's a hassle. Here. You got to rewire everything. That's what people don't understand. That's the biggest mm-hmm. trouble is that it's all got to get yeah. rewired. So that's a big fee right there. Um, that's irritating. So, but yeah, there's there's a there's a couple things like that one would say. And uh, anyways, um, but yeah, I, I I don't I jack it up I jack it up for people outside the church because I don't particularly want them to. Not like that. Um, but you know what I noticed? Most people don't do a wedding in churches anymore. That's what I've been noticing. I've noticed. I've noticed this is this is getting pretty common. Mm-hmm. Folks up here, they will go to. There's a wedding. There's different farms. Yes. And farms that people are having weddings at, which is fine with me. I don't care. Have it wherever you want. But um, it's it's whatever. Which it's Martin? Might I thing. might I suggest that I open my own wedding venue here on I the I think land? you should do it man because honestly it's a it's a money maker. The only issue is the only issue is is that you're going to have to have pretty good insurance because there's going to be a lot of drunk people there. Okay? Yeah, see that's the part I don't like. And I don't like the mess. Yeah, I mean you have to clean it up, but just think about it. For for like what is it? 4 hours of letting somebody come to a reception there, you're making uh-huh. $4,000. That's about right. Yeah. yeah. Four or five, yeah. four or five thousand yeah. dollars, right around there. Okay. Yeah. I, I think a little bit of cleanup is worth it, in my opinion. You know, I'd be like, man, I'm pocketing that in a heartbeat. Like I told Faye, I was like, listen, 
we're going to go find some land and we are going to build a barn on it and host receptions. And we're going to charge everybody $5,000. And she's <laughs> like, okay, sure, whatever. You're like, she's just like, whatever. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, will you stop talking to me? Gosh. My bad. My goodness. My goodness. But no, the it's it, it just struck me as weird because when I first got up here, I mean, it was like my... It was like my second month up mm-hmm. here. And one of the one of the younger couples in the church is getting married. And they say, now listen, we want to invite you and your family to the wedding. But we want this guy to do the wedding because we know him. We don't really know you hmm. yet. Is that okay? I was like, yeah, man, that's awesome. And they say, no, we do really just don't want you to be upset or feel like you're slighted or anything like that. I was like, no, I'm not slighted. Why would I be slighted? I want to sit. Like it makes, actually right, makes I'm sense. I'm not slighted. You make my life a little easier because I don't have to deal with the headache of running a wedding. Um, I get to see how you guys r- have weddings up here, which is beneficial because that's, that's th- true. There's there's shifts in culture, man. One one culture marries people different than another. Yeah. So what what your boy Beekman is used to experiencing from Florida in weddings is going to be different up there in North Carolina. You got to figure out what the difference nah, is. Nah, ain't going to be because I'm bringing Florida to the party, baby. You're you're bringing, I'm bringing it, with, it with me. You're bringing that as along with a Pitbull soundtrack. Yeah. It's going to be Pitbull. Um, I like Pitbull, by do? the way. I, it's, I don't know. Like what, I, what I song do you like it. that Pitbull does? I like Timber. Timber It's good going stuff. down. I'm yelling timber! Yeah, that's actually pretty good song. I think we go back to arranged marriages and get it set up. Right, that's not a bad idea. I think, right. I think you're, I think you're does, on to something uh, here. Does Toby want to marry Sarah? Um, I don't know, man. Like, if I say, if I say I mean, no, are you going to be mad at me? No, not at all. This is the whole, uh, what if they don't do you mind want to? if some other... Is it okay if they don't want to? Who cares what they want? Who cares what they oh, want? Oh, okay. Uh, my bad. Yeah. I, I apologize. I didn't know. When hey, you... let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This whole experiment with having people select their own spouses and stuff, I think we're pretty sure that that's Doesn't not work. going great. 